Hey, in this video, I'm showing you how to embrace change and trust the universe. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to back change into a wall and give it a big hug. And nothing's going to be able to hold you back. Check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Meditation with Chris. My name is Chris and I help people raise their vibration and frequency, move to the next level through guided meditations and my YouTube videos as well. If you're new here again, my name is Chris. I'm the business owner of Meditation with Chris, which is an online business where I provide one-on-one -on -one guided meditation services online over video chat and even in person as well. If that's something that resonates with you, make sure you reach out to my Instagram or my Facebook page or you can check out the website. We can set up some guide meditations there. Other than that, today I'm giving us five powerful ways to embrace change and trust the universe. Now before we get started, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the comment section below and type I embrace change to affirm it to yourself and to the universe that we're ready to move forward to the next level in our story in our soul's mission and our soul's purpose and journey because words are spells and they carry a vibration that goes into eternity get it spelling so let's affirm it to ourselves and affirm it to the universe right now by hopping into the comment section right now and typing i embrace change all right guys without further ado what's the first way to embrace change and trust the universe that way we can create the reality that we prefer, move into a greater version of ourselves, and continue on with the rest of our story. The first thing that I have for us for today, the first way to embrace change and trust the universe is just realize that change is necessary, it is a part of life, okay? Everything is made up of mathematics and dimensions. You know, we live in this third dimensional reality where we live in the visible light spectrum from red to violet. Red having the longest wavelength, vibrating the slowest, Moving up to the other end of the spectrum, we have violet, which has the shortest wavelength and vibrates the fastest, okay? This is just a third density concept, however, a third dimensional idea or experience, okay? But in reality, the scale of dimensions goes on infinitely, and we can only see about 2% of the visible light spectrum, okay? So you could say that we're practically blind to the big picture, okay? So everything is made up of numbers. You could say that we're living in a simulated program, okay? The number four very 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 powerful number if you're seeing 444 you're getting signs from the universe by the way check out my video five ways that the universe is going to give you signs this 2020 check that out if you haven't already but four is the number of change it is the number of seasons there are four seasons and there are four poles in this universe we have or in this third density reality on earth anyway we have north south west and east right we have the four seasons Right, so there are seasons and there are rhythms and there are flows to this shit, right? But time is an illusion. The past, the present, and the future are all happening simultaneously. And life is literally just a reflection of your thoughts, what you believe to be true, your beliefs to the bubble in which you walk around in, creating a reality every single day or keeping you prisoner. So realize that change is inevitable. It is a part of life. And one of the reasons why we came down here on Earth into this third density experience and reality is to experience the ups and the, and the, and the downs, the highs and the lows, right? Because life is like a musical score, and that's the beauty of it, duality. In the higher dimensions, when we, before we got incarnated down into this reality, we've probably again been getting incarnated for many, many lifetimes now, but in these higher dimensions that we exist in on a multi-dimensional level, there is no separation. Everything is so divinely connected. And there is no duality, because duality is a third density concept. Hot and cold, yin and yang, bad and good. There is no separation in the higher dimensions. And we manifest things like that in the higher dimensions, all right? So a lot of times when our soul feels like it wants to go on a certain journey or learn certain lessons that we can take with us on our soul's mission and purpose and journey and experience, 
a lot of times we want to come down to earth and go through this ascension process and learn about duality and go through this slow, dense, manifesting experience so that we can learn certain things that resonate with our core authenticity, all right? So that's the first way to embrace change and trust the universe is to just realize that we are part of the universe and that change is a part of life and it is inevitable, okay? Now what's the second thing that I have for us for today? The second way to embrace change and trust the universe is to realize that your comfort zone keeps you prisoner, okay? So a lot of times we are on, are, we're on autopilot. You know, your subconscious mind governs about 90% of your reality, which speaks in images, you know, and your subconscious mind is all about your diet. You know, it's, it's what you're eating, what you're putting into yourself, because you always become whatever it is that you are eating. But it's not only what you eat, your diet. Your diet is also what you see, it is what you hear, it is what you smell, it is what you experience every single day in your reality. And this will begin to govern your subconscious mind, okay? And a lot of times, we let our subconscious mind control our reality and we're on autopilot every single day due to societal programming and certain things, whether it's the media, which comes from the ancient Greek goddess Medea, whose main traits were cunning and deceptive, the TV program, the tele vision, which sells lies to your vision, TV programming, you're literally being programmed, remote control, you're being controlled remotely, or a TV cast, they're casting a spell on you, right? Like I said before, you know, words are spells, and they carry a vibration that goes into eternity. That's why they call it spelling. When kids go to school, they learn how to spell, and grammar actually comes from that ancient Old English word grimoire, which actually means book of spells. So, your comfort zone keeps you a prisoner. And a lot of times we're doing the same things every single day and expecting different results. And nothing is going to change in your reality if you're doing the same thing every single day. You're going to continue to experience the same experiences over and over and over again. And that's not why we came here. We didn't come down to earth to be comfortable the whole entire time. We came here to grow and to experience this, this crazy, immense, beautiful experience and reality that we know we came here to live. And realize that your comfort zone will keep you a prisoner if, if you're not careful. But, if you are careful, it could also be the very thing that sets you free. Alright, so it could be very freeing to step out of your comfort zone and to experience new things. And that's one of the most powerful ways to step out and break the comfort zone and break the routine is to just try new things. Whether it comes down to the smallest thing that it could ever be, like you try a small new food today, or maybe you take a walk in a different way. What happens is you start to reprogram the subconscious mind and your thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality, okay? Choose empowering thoughts. Right? So what's the third way to embrace change and trust the universe? The third thing that I have for us for today is to realize that there's no change in your life until you make it happen. There's no change in your life until there's a change within yourself. Because life is literally a blank slate mirror reflecting your internal condition and energetic vibration. Everything is vibration and frequency, and the vibration that you are emitting out into the universe is what's going to be sent back to you. This is karma, baby. Karma is not something that happens later on. It is something that you are already feeling and already experienced. Therefore, that is why you acted that way, okay? So there's no change in your life until there's a change within yourself, until there's a change within your routine. So realize that you can change the course of your life just by trying new things, and therefore, it's a butterfly effect. Different things will branch off of that, and beautiful new pattern will begin to get created, okay? That's the third thing that I have for us for today is that there's no change in your life until you make it happen until there's a change within yourself. Alright, now what's the fourth thing that I have for us for today? The fourth way to embrace change, trust the universe, is to realize that the unknown could be your greatest escape. You ever go to a new country or a new city and you feel so free, right? That's because you're getting dopamine released into your brain and it feels good. And that happens when we see new things, alright? That happens when we ex have new experiences, when we meet new people, when we go to new places that we've never seen before. It just sets a fire off in your soul that you've never felt before, that you've never experienced before. Or actually, we might have experienced it in a past life, that's why it feels so good to us, right? We realize that the unknown it could be a great escape. A lot of times we're afraid of the unknown. We don't trust the unknown. We're scared to trust the unknown, what's on the other side. But in reality, this is what life is all about. Life is all about change and trusting the unknown, right? So that's the fourth way to let go, to embrace change and trust the universe, to just realize that the unknown could be your greatest escape. So don't be scared to try new things. Don't be scared to trust in the unknown. 
All right, so what's the fifth and final thing that I have for us for today, guys? The fifth thing that I have for us for today is that the universe is happening for us, not to us. A lot of us, we say, oh, this is happening to me. Oh, oh my God, this is happening to me. When in reality, the truth is you're creating that. And you probably chose that to happen to you at a core soul level before you even got incarnated down into Earth, right? Because as I said before, we're on this plane of existence and this dimension to learn certain things that are aligned with our soul's mission, our soul's purpose, and soul's journey. And a lot of, a lot of times we chose at a core, at a higher, di a higher dimensional level, a multi-dimensional level, we chose who's going to play which role in our life, who's going to be the person that does this to me so I can learn this, who's going to be the jerk that does this to me so I can learn this, when in reality, that is them loving you in the deepest possible way. Because we're all connected, there is no separation actually, you are them. These are other aspects of you and you are another aspect of me, okay? We are essentially the universe, a focal point of the universe, waking up to itself, okay? And we are not so disconnected at all. We are not so separate at all because in these higher dimensions, we are all so divinely connected through unconditional love and it's the ego mind or the monkey mind based off of duality that makes us feel that we are so separate, right? This is why we have countries. This is why we have religions, which is really just a form of control Imagine if there were no countries and no religions and we all just celebrated one love, which is how it should be. There will be no war because you realize what you're doing to them, you're actually doing to another aspect of yourself. You feel it internally, right? So, those are the five powerful ways to embrace change and trust the universe. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video, tag a friend, share this video with a friend if you found some value here so they can too. Subscribe if you haven't already. I got tons more stuff coming your way. I'm very excited to share with you. Other than that, peace and love. Namaste. See you next time. Later.